Today is Saturday, November 6th. I'm Jen Shantz. The search is on for the suspect who police say opened fire outside a liquor store on Detroit's west side. One person was killed, another hurt. It happened last night in the area of Fenkel and Steel. Anyone with information is asked to contact Detroit police or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP and you can remain anonymous. In Washington, House Democrats ended a months-long deadlock coming to a vote on President Biden's domestic agenda. Overnight, lawmakers passed the $1.2 trillion bipartisan infrastructure bill. It's the first of two key bills proposed by the president. The measure first passed the Senate back in August. Once signed off by President Biden, funds will be used to invest in roads, bridges, broadband, and transit. In addition to passing this bill, last night, Democratic leaders also delayed a vote. Lawmakers decided to postpone the final vote on that larger $1.75 trillion social spending bill. Speaker Pelosi plans to bring that back to the surface later this month. The site of the former Joe Louis Arena in downtown Detroit may soon be getting a new lease on life. The Sterling Group wants to redevelop the property into a high-rise apartment building and call it the Lewis. The company released these renderings of what the complex could look like and say the building would feature 500 studio and one-bedroom apartments. Hallie? Well, temperatures warming up this weekend. We'll hit the low 50s today and near 60 tomorrow and staying dry through the weekend. Dry on Monday, 62 degrees. That'll be the warmest of the next seven days. A good chance for rain by the end of the week, but it looks like the wettest day will be Veterans Day on Thursday.